between the stem of herb and shrub so what is a shrub shrub is a small bushy plant with thin woody stem with many branches growing from the base they live for a few years now we can learn examples for trees neem tree mango tree shrubs Bougainvillea, hibiscus, herbs, mint, coriander. What are climbers? Climbers are plants that have weak stem and need support of other things to climb. What are climbers? Climbers are plants that have weak stem and need support of other things to climb. So, the stem of climbers are weak so that they need support of other things to climb. Examples, P, grapevine, creepers. Creepers also have weak stem. So, like climbers, creepers also have 
weak stem and large fruit we can see here large fruit the fruit is very large and also the stem is very weak so that it cannot support the weight of the fruit so it grows along the ground so creepers have weak stem and large fruit that it cannot support the weight of the fruit so it grows along the ground so why creepers grows along the ground because the stem is weak and the fruit is large so it cannot support the weight of the fruit so it grows along the ground the plants that grow along the ground are called creepers example pumpkin watermelon what makes plants to grow air water sunlight soil what makes plants to grow air water sunlight soil all these things makes plants to grow once again air water sunlight soil plants are found everywhere on the mountains in the sea bed in deserts and many other places now we can learn plants that grow in different places desert plants mountain plants aquatic plants aquatic plants plants like hyacinth duckweed lotus can survive only in water such plants are called aquatic plants so aquatic plants can survive only in water so the plants that can live only in water are called aquatic plants desert plants plants like cactus date palm can live in very hot and dry climates with very little rainfall they are desert plant plants like cactus date palm can live in very hot and dry climates with very little rainfall they are desert plant plants like fir willow spruce grow on mountains and in very cold conditions so plants like fir willow spruce grow on mountains and also in very cold conditions plants like tea mahogany grow well in places which remain hot and wet throughout the year so these plants tea and mahogany can grow well in hot and wet places next we can learn plants are our friends do you know children plants are our green friends they are useful to us in several ways plants keep the air fresh they take in carbon dioxide plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen which is necessary for both humans and animals to survive so plants keep the air fresh by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen oxygen is necessary for us and also animals to live now we can learn types of food that we get from plants vegetables fruits pulses spices cereals coffee sugar oil so these are the different types of food that we get from plants plants like cotton jute coconut are so so fiber we make cloth from fiber so from the plants like cotton jute coconut we get fiber from fiber we make cloth wood from trees like tea shisham oak is used to make things like doors windows carts 
so with the wood of trees like tree shishan and oak we make those windows and many other things bamboo and many grasses are used to make paper so we make paper from plants like bamboo and many grasses we make dyes using parts of plants like beetroot henna indigo so from the parts of plants like beetroot henna indigo we make dyes many plants like neem ginger mint eucalyptus tulsi have medicinal value so these plants have medicinal value rubber is obtained from the bark of the rubber tree you can see here rubber tree from the bark of the rubber tree we get rubber flowers of plants like rose and jasmine are used to make perfumes from these flowers we get perfumes plants are home to several animals like monkeys squirrels birds so plants are home to several animals also next we can learn new plants many plants were not grown in india earlier they have been brought from other countries we are going to learn about those plants plants like litchi kennel these plants have been brought from other countries litchi has come from china kennel has come from california i hope you understand this chapter we can move to exercise fill in the blanks first the wood of trees like dash and dash is used to make furniture the wood of trees like teak and shisha is used to make furniture second dash and dash plants have medicinal value neem and ginger dash and dash plants have medicinal value neem and ginger third dash and dash are a sources of paper bamboo and grasses for plants like dash and dash are a sources of fiber plants like cotton and jute are a source of fiber fifth dash and dash are examples of new plants litchi and kennel six rubber is obtained from the bark of a rubber tree answer is bark seven plants give out dash that is required by both animals and humans to stay alive plants give out oxygen so the answer is oxygen that is required by both animals and humans to stay alive write in your textbook complete the table plant uses here we can see the name of the plants and here uses oak furniture with oak tree we can make furniture tulsi medicine value bamboo paper jute cloth rose perfume rubber tree rubber indigo dice write this also in the textbook write true or false first shrubs live for a few years true second herbs have a thick brown woody stem true third cactus is a desert plant true fourth rose and lily are examples of new plants false fifth plants need the right kind of soil to grow true next answer the following questions first what is a trunk answer trunk is a thick brown woody stem what is a trunk trunk is a thick brown woody stem second how plants keep the air fresh and clean answer plants keep the air fresh by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen how plants keep the air fresh and clean 
and so plants keep the air fresh by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen third how do trees differ from shrubs third how do trees differ from shrubs and so trees have thick brown woody stem called trunk they live for many years whereas shrubs have a thin woody stem with many branches growing from the base they live for a few years once again how do trees differ from shrubs and so trees have thick brown woody stem called trunk they live for many years whereas shrubs have a thin woody stem with many branches growing from the base they live for a few years by this same notebook answer the following continuation fourth what are herbs answer herbs are plants that have thin weak stem and live only for one season what are herbs answer herbs are plants that have thin weak stem and live only for one season fifth how do creepers differ from climbers answer creepers have weak stem and heavy fruit so they grow along the ground climbers also have weak stem they need the support of other things to climb once again how do creepers differ from climbers creepers have weak stem and heavy fruit so they grow along the ground climbers also have weak stem they need the support of other things to climb six what are aquatic plants and so plants that can survive only in water are called aquatic plants what are aquatic plants plants that can survive only in water are called aquatic plants next exercise is complete the flow chart plants shrubs trees herbs climbers creepers you have to write different types of plants shrubs trees herbs climbers creepers write this in the textbook next give one word for the following first plants that need support to grow climbers second very big tall and strong plants trees third plants that grow along the ground creepers fourth plants that grow in water aquatic plants fifth made with beetroot henna and indigo dyes match the columns you have to match column a with column b climber answer is p creepers pumpkin duckweed answer aquatic plant hibiscus shrub jasmine perfumes once again climber answer p creepers pumpkin duckweed aquatic plant hibiscus shrub jasmine perfumes write this in the textbook next is activity you have to stick or draw the picture of plants and also the things that we get from plants here i stick the tree and we get fruits clothes wood and also vegetables from the plants i hope you understand this chapter and will you do the exercise children this chapter is over try to plant a tree for a better future i hope you will plant a tree a home task is read the text three times do the activity do the exercise in textbook and write the answer the following in notebook hope you will do all this see you in the next class thank you
Nityanikeet